So, it's another good evening to you, my fellow cheated hearts of New York City. Good news, the blizzard's finally stopped. But the weatherman says there's a rainstorm coming. Just what we need, some good old-fashioned New York rain. So close your windows, lock your doors, wrap up warm and settle in for another evening with me, Kenna Martin, exclusively here on BC 304 FM. I'll be taking you all through the night and right up to the graveyard shift, because who ever heard of employment laws, huh? So to kick things off with a personal favorite of mine, here's Forever by Nervous Nervous Test Pilot. It stopped snowing days ago. I ran out of excuses not to go and see him. I don't want to think about this. I don't really want to wear a coat indoors. There's something in amongst the fronds. I should get it free sometime. A portal to an exciting other world. Or as the landlord calls it, the bathroom. Sure, I could use a shower. Playing a game would be perfect about now. If only I could concentrate. I'd prefer to leave it on. I like the ambiance. Well, shit. It's locked. I don't recall locking it. In fact, I don't recall it ever having a key. Don't feel like calling anyone, but I suppose I should listen to the messages. You have... Two new messages. First new message received today at 1.18 p.m. Congratulations. You have won tickets to the Krennic on Thames Museum's latest exhibit. Straight from the catacombs of Augur Peak, this is a -a once-in-a-lifetime chance to... Tickets to an English museum? This is New York, kids. Not interested. Message deleted. Second new message received today at 6.29 p.m. Hi, Alex. The nurse just told me you'd been in. Should have let me know. I'd have made sure I was here. It's been a while. I'm sure your dad appreciates it, love. You know he'd tell you that himself if he could. Call me on my cell when you get this. Goodbye. Love you. Bye. End of final message. I didn't call, Mom, because I knew you would be there, and I couldn't do it if you were. I don't know why. Please don't hate me. Ah, screw it. I'll call her in the morning, right? Right. I say it's because I constantly feel like I'm being watched. Sure, yeah, I'll go to bed at 7 in the evening. That'd be suitably pathetic. If I was drinking coffee or felt like reading, then maybe. But I don't, so no. I'm pretty hungry, but I'll grab dinner in a bit. Got things to do first. But she was really going at it, arguing with air almost. She was a redhead like me too, a bit older. The snow might have stopped, but it's still utterly freezing. I'll pass, thanks. A surprisingly beautiful view of the city. One of my favorite things about this apartment. It's dark out. I should turn the PC on first. Now, I'm sure it's here for a reason. Just my scribblings. Can barely even read it. Power on. Good idea. It's a photo of me, with my friends Sophia, Isaiah, and Carly. And that asshole's there too. It was taken on my birthday a few months ago. A photo of Gavin with his face scribbled out. Hey, a a girl's entitled to the occasional petty, vindictive outburst, okay? Some games magazine. Every review score is seven or above. A memento. Gavin won this for me in one of those claw machines. No idea how he did it. 
some kind of wizardry. Right, let's do this. Oh look, drama as my favorite reviewer gives a game a low score. Whatever, I've always loved his writing. Very personable, makes me feel like I know the guy. Oh well, no time for that now. Gotta track my package. It has to be here today. Of course, I had to change all my regular passwords. Gavin knew them. God damn it, what did I use here? I think I wrote it down somewhere when I was drunk. Oh, yeah. Ah, here it is, I think. The writer walks the shores where love inscribed its final kiss. Time to read, Alex. The right. Nah. Let's do this then. The Mirror by Graham Masterson. I remember this being pretty terrifying when I was a teenager. I wonder if it'd hold up. Sanctum by Madeline Rue. This just came out. I have an especially strong connection to her writing. I can't wait to read it. In fact, everyone should. Yeah. Sophia's Inhaler. Might as well bin this. Tomorrow. Fifty Great Coastal Walks of the British Isles, Volume 2. I checked this out of the library years ago, then forgot to return it. Don't ask me why. I've never even been to Britain. Hopefully the librarian's forgotten. Leaving Megalopolis by Gail Simone. I bought this because I loved her run on Secret Six, but I haven't had a chance to read it yet. Ayn Rand's Atlas Shrugged, a beautiful novel by an author whose beliefs I totally agree with. Just kidding, Rand was a fucking troll. I only bought this thing because of Bioshock. Death, The High Cost of Living, just one of my many Neil Gaiman books. All the onk-wearing wannabe teenage goth girls in the world can't kill my love of the endless. Also, who am I kidding? I was totally an onk-wearing wannabe teenage goth girl. Special Topics in Calamity Physics by Marisha Pessel. The only time I've wanted to slap and hug the main character at once. Good book. Louis Cassell's The Charnel House Burial. My prized first edition copy. The one memento from Gavin I'll never get rid of. I can't face the shame of seeing the due date. Since I haven't read it, it's probably not this one. I'm saving it for a special occasion. Oh, Cassell, you are a strange and troubled man. I wonder whatever happened to you. For your graduation, I hope there will always be room in your spectacular mind for me. You are my island. Love you forever and always, Gavin. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Cassell famously became a hermit while writing this book. The island he moved to was called Augur Peak. I remember now. Augur Peak 1318. I resent having to pay special delivery for train tickets, but I need them today. The next train isn't for two weeks. I can't wait that long. What? The site says it was delivered and signed for. I don't recognize that signature, and even I would have remembered signing for it today. It looks like it says Benwood or something? What? Well, great. Fucking perfect. I need those tickets. Maybe it's a mistake. Maybe they'll still come. Maybe the website's fucked. It's too late to call them now. What else can I do but wait? Now it's storming. This is gonna be fun, making my way to the station by midnight. I'm not being sarcastic. I just want the tickets to get here. Guess I'd better find a way to spend my evening then. I don't feel like playing a game, so maybe a DVD is in order. Might make a change. 
Looking outside, it seems like the storms hit a little early, New York. Rain, thunder, lightning, the works. Sure, yeah, I'll go to bed at 7. Yeah, sure, if you insist, stomach, I'll grab some food. Three pickled onions and a slice of bread. What a fucking fantastic dinner. Alex, do the shopping from time to time, yeah? Hmm, I think I, I think I, I think I can jimmy it open with something, if I can find something that'll fit. Ah, got it. A parcel I hadn't opened yet. Let's see. So you want to give up smoking? A self-help book by I Burn It. Kinda wish I hadn't found this now. I'll just put it back where it was. I don't. There's something behind the radiator. Maybe I can reach it. Ah, got it. A parcel I hadn't opened yet. Let's see. A DVD of Strangers on a Train. I bought this for Gavin. Ugh. Back behind the radiator it goes. I've already read it. Twice. You know what? I think this little guy's tail would fit in the gap. This idea is so stupid that it might just work. Here goes. It fits perfectly. Aw, oh, shit. The tail's just snapped off. Well, this was one of my better ideas, wasn't it? Fuck's sake. Oh! I'm not closing it again after all that. I'm not closing- Right, let's see what we have here. Photo of me and Gavin. It's broken. I put it here out of the way. And here are the DVDs. Don't really care what I watch, I'll just stick some crappy horror on. Hello? Gavin? Oh, Rob, hi. What's up? Oh, really? That's brilliant. Oh, thanks so much. Thank you. That was Rob, my neighbor from the apartment down the hall. He has my package. The delivery man signed it and left it with him. He's bringing it over now. I'm just... Shit. I'm doing this. I have to get ready. Shit. Yes! <laughs> what now, Rob? Forgotten where I live? Hello? Yes? This is Alex Davenport speaking. I... Thank you. I can't breathe. I can't fucking breathe. I can't fucking breathe. I, my chest is... Help! <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Alex. Jesus, how bad is this storm? Oh, hey, are you all right? I'm fine. Thanks. Fine. I just had a bit of bad news. I'll, I'll be fine. Sorry, Rob. Ah, oh, God. Gavin again? Nah, nothing to do with him this time. <laughs> Sorry. It'll be alright. I, I just need to sort some stuff out. Bad times. You know how it is. Hey, look, thanks for bringing this over. You sure? No, yeah. Seriously, I'll be fine. Thanks, Robert. You only call me Robert when you're not okay, Al. I know you like your own company, but seriously, you know where I am if you need me. Yeah, I do. And honestly, honestly, tomorrow you're going to have me sniveling on your doorstep begging you to listen, but right now I just need... I just need... No, it's okay, Al. Take all the time you want. Wait, I won't be here tomorrow. Sorry, Rob, I'll call you. Please don't worry about me. I don't want to think about anything right now. The days are endless. I need to get ready to leave. There's always tomorrow. I'll call Mom tomorrow, too. Outside, the city begins to withdraw. A siren sounds in the night, blue light reflecting on brickwork as tireless paramedics rush to the scene of another trauma. On the pavement below, a woman hurries home, casting furtive glances over her shoulder as she pulls her coat tight around herself, the rain beating patterns on the fabric. A car drives past, music disturbing the peace. The woman looks at the man in the car. He turns the music down, calls something out as he passes. I see the woman start to walk faster. She flinches at the thunder. The car drives off. Another set of sirens now. Somewhere in the distance, the city is drowning. This is where we live. This is our world. Ebb and flow, endless, forever. It's the perfect time for loneliness. The perfect time to indulge the selfish, petulant monologues of the dispossessed. But sometimes it's just like this, you know? Sometimes we can't help it. Sometimes we don't want to go out and hang out with your friends. Sometimes we don't want to talk. Sometimes we just want to wallow. You don't know me. You never fucking knew me. Go fuck yourself, you judgmental, self-righteous prick. Cat, I'll see you soon. looks like the storm didn't reach here. The snow is still falling. It's a clean, crisp night. Just past midnight. The train should be here any moment. A forest. The trees are bare in the winter months. I've never been here before. I should explore when I'm back from Augur Peak. I used to love walking in the forest with Mom and... Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll go walking in the forest when I'm back. Although I imagine there are plenty of forests on Augur Peak to explore. I can't see the train. I hope it shows up soon. I'm freezing. An intellectual-looking guy. His jacket has elbow patches. Cool. This place is lonely and forlorn. Took an expensive cab ride to get here. We're in the middle of nowhere. The station looks like it hasn't been used in years. A pile of luggage, including mine. I just dumped it there because it seemed like the right thing to do. So, hey, you been waiting long? I, uh, I'm not sure. I lost track of the time. Tell me about it. I nearly slept through tonight. There's a clock over there, though. It hasn't moved since I got here. Oh. Great. So, uh, where are you headed? 
a little port town. <laughs> Last stop. <laughs> Me too. I'm not staying there though. Catching the ferry to Auger, Auger Peak, Peak Island. Island. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's not a common destination, is it? What brings you to the island, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> it's dumb. You'll laugh. Hmm. I'm headed there to dig around in the dirt and check out broken pots. Trust me, I won't laugh. Okay, fine. It's a bit of a personal pilgrimage. Ah, I won't pry any further. But, you know the funny thing? What's that? It feels that way to me, too. Train should be here soon. I think I can see it. It's going to be a long, boring journey. Fool that I am, I forgot to bring any recreational reading material. All I have to pour over are some historical texts. Thrilling. Hmm. The porter can get it when the train pulls in. I'd like to say smoking is my only vice, but it's not. My trusty lighter. Ten years old and still going strong. Cards, money, mace, the usual. My train tickets. My cracked little doggy. The charnel house burial. I don't remember bringing this. I guess... I guess I should let go of it. I won't need it after tomorrow. Just one final reminder of Gavin I can do without. Hey. Hey. You can take this. I've already read it. Pulp horror fiction? Yeah, sorry. No, not at all. <laughs> it's my guilty pleasure. <laughs> Mine too. This one's great. You ever heard of Cassell? I can't say I have. Oh, well, he... <laughs> Looks like this is us. Two passengers. Well, this is my lucky day. It's freezing out here. You guys got on board old Gloria now. She's nice and warm. I'll come on and show you to your cabins momentarily. I'll just grab your luggage. Off you go now. Well, well. What's this then? Who's a cute little doggy? I know just who'll like this. Settle down, you. We're nearly ready, and if you start causing a scene now, I'll have to tell young Floyd what you've been up to, and we both know what'll happen then. <laughs> That's it. There's a good boy. You just be a good wee writer, and wait, watch, and listen like you always do. It'll be over soon, and you'll be back home before you know it. Aye, I reckon so. Wicked shall hold their tongues. 
they stir. <clears throat> Beneath this silent world of saints and sinners, twixt the living and the dead. <coughs> Train's still going. I can't have slept long. We left, uh, we left. When did we leave? Where did we leave? God damn, it's unnervingly quiet. <coughs> <coughs> Maybe I should fetch some water. The restaurant should be open now. I don't want to be carting a book around unnecessarily. It's nothing interesting. Comfy enough to sleep on, evidently. Shutters down. Shutters down. <sighs> no use. Stuck. Ah, not without my wallet. What do we have here then? Wallet. Yes. Dr. Lang, curator of the Krennic on Thames Museum. That's me, all right. Let's go stir up a drink or two. Maybe something strong is in order. Clear the head. Okay, I'm Dr. Harold Lang. My destination is Augur Peak Island. I'm on this train to... <coughs> I'm, I'm going to evaluate some finds. They called me to... It's nothing interesting. Locked. I can't hear anyone inside. A friendly looking fellow. Makes a change for public transport. Good evening, my friend. I was wondering if you could... Ah, yes. I've seen you poking around. Having trouble settling down, are we? <laughs> Something like that. Could do with a stiff drink about now? Right you are, then. A painting of a train. Is it this one? No, looks too old. Maybe an ancestor. Locked. I can't hear anyone inside. Locked? Isn't this the way out? Locked. Right you are, then. That painting on the wall. Isn't she a beaut? She runs like clockwork, so she does. It's... this train. Uh, isn't it a little old? <laughs> you kids today have got no appreciation of machinery. We've got to be the same age at best. Well, practically grew up in us, so I did. There's nothing about old Gloria that I don't know. The door to the next carriage appears to be locked. Is that normal? Nothing's wrong, is it? <laughs> you city folks always jump to conclusions. There's nothing wrong. It's just how we do things when our guests are asleep. It prevents prying eyes and swift fingers. Isn't that a bit of a fire hazard? Pal, let me tell you. If a fire breaks out in this train, then no amount of carriage doors are going to save you from roasting. If you catch my drift. Be a steel coffin if the unthinkable happened. Sheesh. Um, could you possibly unlock the door? I could really use a drink. Don't reckon I can, no. <laughs> can give you the key, though. On one condition. Uh, please don't tell me he's going to ask me to solve some ridiculous conundrum of his. Bring me back a shot of whiskey when you get back. Old Floyd will hook you up. Just tell him it's for done. Oof. No problem, my friend. Thank you.
Aha. Open. Ah, better hurry to the restaurant. Don't want it to close before I can get Don's whiskey. A solemn-looking young woman. She's seated on a chair. Her eyes are staring off at something just outside the picture's edge. It's a little unnerving. I feel like... I feel like I've seen a photograph like this before. If this wasn't up in a train carriage... Locked. Damn. No good. I can't even get the key in. Must be locked from the other side. Ah. Ah. Not really something I... Not... Not... I can't just cart around any old thing. A solemn look. Ah. The restaurant is locked. This key's no good. Ah. Floyd must be getting things ready. Just take your time, boy. Let him do his thing. He'll unlock it when he's good and ready. There's no rush, is there? Huge black hold all. Looks very heavy. God knows what's inside. A beautifully polished wooden box. It has a red, teardrop shaped gem set into the top. He doesn't look very well. That's if it's even a he. He looks positively sick, in fact. Hello there. I'm sorry for the intrusion. I was just what? He's muttering something. I can't make it out. I'm sorry? What was that? <laughs> Maybe I should be going. I'm sorry to have bothered you. <laughs> he doesn't seem to be able to open his mouth properly. I think I'd better leave. Maybe I should mention this to that ticket inspector. I can't just go grabbing someone else's most prized possessions. There's a man in one of the rooms in the next carriage. I don't think he's at all well. <laughs> we get some right crazies on the train sometimes, I'm telling you. You learn to leave them be after a while. Uh, the, the wretched man can barely speak. Aye, and I'd be the same way after the amount of booze most of these boys have had. Is Floyd still not operating then? Not as far as I'm aware. Ah, well, give the boy time. Hey, I saw one of your fellow passengers pop their head at the room at the end of the corridor. Maybe you'd get a better conversation out of her. Pretty little thing, so she was. Thanks. Um, are you sure that she was... <laughs> well, this was the right room. Hello? A pile of paper dogs. They're not very well made. <laughs> As a child, I used to make origami like this. Where's the girl that ticket collector claims to have seen? I'm... I'm sure she won't miss just one. Could 
she be? Nothing. But that sounded awfully like a door unlocking in the next carriage. Is Floyd ready for business? More large bags. More... Something doesn't feel right about this. They're all the same. Why would everyone have the same luggage? I want to have a look inside, but these are somebody's bags. I think I'll call him Sam. Food's getting cold. I haven't heard any sort of dinner bell. Are we supposed to just know when it's dinner time? Are any of these places for me, I wonder? Shuttered and sealed, just like in my room. Nicely stocked, just the way I like it. They've got a pretty good range, considering this is a train. Good evening, Floyd, is it? Ah, Mr. Lang, how nice of you to join us. It's Dr. Lang, actually. But uh, who needs formalities in a place like this? <laughs> Quite. I suppose you're here on business? Business? I, uh, yeah. A drink, Mr. Lang, that is what you're after, is it not? Perhaps a bite to eat first? Unfortunately, all our meals are reserved. By all means, have a drink, though. Pull up a stool. I'd better not stay. Your ticket collector, Don, I think it was, has tasked me with procuring him a glass of whiskey. Ah, yes, he did leave his hip flask here, thinking about it. It's right there on the bar. This one's on the house, Mr. Lang. Huh. It's empty. Flask's empty, Floyd. Better give me a shot of whiskey. No more freebies, I'm afraid, Mr. Lang. That'll be five pounds. Five pounds? You're burying me alive here. I don't think so. Not... Ah, a bit of money. Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> it's my credit card. I'm not using the card for such a small amount. Here you go, my good man. Better hit me with another. Excess is the path to ruin, Mr. Lang. We wouldn't want you to go before your time, would we? I think I can manage just one more drink. That's what they all say, isn't it, Mr. Lang? Just one more for the road? I can handle it. Never had difficulty driving before. And what about your liver, Mr. Lang? Can that handle just one more drink? God damn, Floyd, you always were a preachy son of a bitch, weren't you? I think you're quite mistaken, Mr. Lang. We've never met you and I. I just don't want you to do yourself an injury. I can handle one more goddamn drink, you stupid bitch. Just stay out of my way and I'll stay out of yours. That's right, Mr. Lang, let it all out. There's a good little puppy. What the hell? What did... <sighs> Shit. I need to go, Floyd. It's been a pleasure, as always. Aren't you forgetting your promise, Mr. Lang? Whiskey. For Don. Once more unto the breach, dear friends. I'm afraid you can't just take it, Mr. Lang, no matter how much you wish to. How much? It's not cheap, I'm afraid. Forty pounds should do it. I don't have that much money on me. I'm sure you'll find a way, Mr. Lang. You always do. Okay, here goes. Goodbye, bank balance. If you just enter your pin. Hmm. Now, what was my pin? I remember setting a number I can identify easily. No good with memorizing numbers.
Dr. Harold Lang, Krennic on Thames Museum, badge ID CCPN 1318. All done. Thank you, Floyd. No, thank you, Mr. Lang. A whiskey bottle. Looks expensive. Food's getting cold. What the hell is happening to me? Oh, my head. I can't think. <coughs> oh, Mr. Lang, that pale man you met, I think he just wants a best friend. Perhaps you're not quite what he's looking for? You are, after all, blind drunk. You're lonely. Is that it? Yeah. I think Floyd was right. He doesn't seem to be warming to me, though. I don't think so. I don't think... I don't think I should go back in there just yet. Locked. I think I can hear breathing inside. Faint sound of someone sleeping, perhaps. I won't disturb them further. Locked. I can't just... This isn't mine. I probably shouldn't even touch it. Grabbing other people's luggage is a bit of a faux pas. Worth a try, I suppose. Hey, sir, this isn't quite man's best friend, but... <laughs> that seems to have done the trick. I think he wants me to open it. He's playing with the dog. Best leave him. There's an engraving here. He whose blood the earth's dark thirst doth quench ascends unto the heavens from her womb. Interesting. A beautiful teardrop-shaped ruby. I'm no gemologist, but I'd wager it's real. It's firmly attached. But, hey, I think I can move it. Locked. Ah, it's open. Oh! The box is filled with earth and worms. They're everywhere. Why would he lock something like this away? He's playing with the dog. Best leave him. I don't think so. That's no good, son. I don't think so. Oh, boy, you really came through for an old man. Talk about dramatising it. You can't be any older than 35. Glad to make the night pass by just that little bit easier. That reminds me, I never did find that girl in this carriage. Girl? What are you talking about? There's no girl on this train. But you said... No. It's not nice to go messing with old Don's head just because he's had a sniff of whiskey. But, you know, I'll let you lie. You've got spirit. 
Well, thanks. But that girl, you honestly told me you saw her. I reckon I didn't. And you know what? It's the craziest damn thing. You're just about the only soul I've seen on this train tonight. It's not normally like that. Even Floyd usually around. Must be his night off. Floyd is around. I got the whiskey from him, remember? And what about the sick passenger in the next car? Not seen anyone around, son. You know what I need on a night like this? A good book. Can't beat a good novel and a drink. A good book, eh? Hope Don likes it as much as I did. A handy hip flask. The initials KD are etched into the side. A key. On it is a carving of armor. Wait, an A. Two A. Guess he won't be wanting the novel after all. Best leave him be. Well, why not? The key to 2A. Maybe I'll find this mysterious girl. And no, he might want it when he wakes up. The lamp casts a pale, cold glow over the photographs. The flame is perfectly still. Another large bag. This is starting to get very, very unpleasant. I want to have a look inside, but this is somebody's bag. More photos of that girl from the picture in the corridor. She's sitting in different seats around a house. What is it about these pictures? More photos. My God! They're Victorian death pictures. I thought as much. I can't take this. What the hell is this place? Am I even awake? I... <sighs> This wasn't here before. It's slightly unzipped. I can see the whiskey flask sticking out. Oh God. I don't want to. I don't want to see. Oh God, get me out of this place. What have I done? It's locked. Destroyed. All destroyed. I can't even smell the booze. It's like this happened years ago. What the hell could have done this? Not really something. My God! Rotten. It's all rotten. This looks years old. How is this even possible? I think I'm going to be sick.
I don't want to. It's... The Charnel House Burial by Louis Cassell. <laughs> to think I don't get enough of the dead without pulp horror novels. Uh, just one vice. I can't do this anymore. I want to wake up. It's moving. It's twitching. Please, God, don't make me look. A toy train stuck in the dirt. This wasn't in the box before. This can't be here for no reason. There's a thin crack around the base of the train, as if it opens. I can't get my nails in the gap. There. It came apart. There's some kind of thin key inside. There. I can't... The panel is open. There's a switch marked shutters. The train's picking up speed. I'll just slide it open. No. No. Dear God. What is this? Earth. Nothing but earth pressed tight against the window. This can't have just happened. This can't be happening. The flame seems to be burning slightly green. It's dancing wildly. I need the light, no matter how erratic. Earth. I can't breathe. There's no air. Katrina. Please. Ugh, I'm so bored. Wish I hadn't given that dude my book. I never even caught his name. That was pretty rude of me, actually. I should have asked. Maybe I'll go find him. Whoa, god damn. We've only been traveling for half an hour. Felt like a lot longer. Still got most of the journey left. I wonder if there are any other stops. I'd kill for a cigarette. I should go stretch my legs, see if that train dude's around, ask him where the other guy's cabin is, or just see if there's a bar. A cute doggy! He looks like my model dog. Wait, where did I leave that? Ah, oh, crap. We're moving fast. The snowy countryside is beautiful. I don't recognize where we are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
A steam train. It looks exactly like the one I'm on. Maybe it is. There's a plaque at the bottom. It says, Old Gloria's Inaugural Trip, December 1988. When I saw him earlier, I thought he was old. But no, he just has white hair. Now I look at him properly, he seems kind of familiar. Hey! Evening, lassie. How's old Gloria treating you so far? Gloria? The train, lass. Old girl just had a service. It's like lying on air, isn't it? It's... she's... kind of ancient, right? Hmm. <laughs> you could say that. Been running well over a hundred years, so she has. Of course, she's had every part replaced more than once. So she's not really the same train at all, then? She's got the same heart, though. Anyway, you youngins don't want to be listening to old going on about history. I already talked that museum doctor's ear off. Oh, no. <laughs> not at all. I'm fascinated by the past, actually. When I was younger, me and my friend used to go out in the countryside looking for old bits and pieces. Had a big collection. Oh, I. I used to be a bit of a mudlarker myself, actually. Mudlarker? Isn't that a type of bird? Aye, so it is. But it's also the name we give to people who wander around the shores of rivers and sea banks, picking up all manner of old tat. I found myself some pretty rare stuff back in the day, so I did. Oh yeah? Like what? Oh, just your usual stuff. Found an old tin of photos once, though. That was a fun time. So, anything I can help you with, miss? You make this journey a lot? Aye. More than I care to remember, actually. Aye, sure enough. It's pretty unusual to find such a late night route, right? I was surprised when I saw it. Aye. I like the night shift. Nice and quiet. Less so tonight, mind. My doctor's been up and down like a yo-yo. and won't sit still. Surprised he's not out roaming the corridors right now, actually. Still, he did get me a sniff of whiskey. Can't complain. Sorry, I can go back to my compartment if you'd like. No, not at all. I've already had my nap. The more the merrier, I say. And I'm sure Floyd would be happy to see you as well. So, the port town we're headed to... Aye. Quaint little Nibbawamset. There's nothing to see there. Nothing at all. Don't any of the bigger port towns have boats to Augur Peak? Nope. Just that one place. Not exactly a popular tourist destination. You ever been yourself? Augur Peak? Aye, plenty. I live there after all. Oh, so you'll be crossing with us? Aye, I've got some time off. You got family there? Aye, my wife's over on the island. She misses old Don when he's gone. So, you say the other guy's a doctor, huh? Aye. Off to Augur to dig around in the ruins. I had no idea my old home island had any historical secrets like that. Here. It's funny, isn't it? You, me, and him. All with an interest in archaeology. Wait, wait. His name isn't, uh, Howard or something, is it? Harold Lang, if I'm thinking right. Why? Do you know him? Friend of a friend. That's so weird. I had no idea when I met him on the station. Life can be strange sometimes. Aye? <laughs> oh, don't. You'll be saying it's fate next. Maybe we're all set to discover some great treasure on the island. Actually, it's funny. It's not just us, either. Oh? Yeah, my friend Kat. She's on the island. She's, uh, she's Dr. Lang's assistant. I've heard a fair bit about him. He seems different. Aye. They all do, don't they? What's that supposed to mean? Well, you know, all these young men these days. Huh, yeah, I get you. Anyway, I wanted to ask, what compartment is Lang in? Thought I'd go introduce myself properly, especially now I know he's Kat's boss. He's in 1B, but hey, he told me he was going to take a nap. Asked me to wake him in an hour, so I'll give you a nod once he's up and about again. Okay, cheers. Guess I'll go back to my room then. You could head on down to the end. I bet Floyd would love to see a lovely young lady. Uh, Floyd? Floyd, the barman. Runs the bar. It's open if you fancy a drink. Hmm. Yeah, a drink sounds good about now. Thanks, Don. You want anything? Oh, I could go for some. What? No, better not. I'll fall asleep on my feet again. <laughs> 
Nobody wants to see a conductor with bags under his eyes. Okay, sure. Catch you later, Don. Don said I shouldn't disturb him yet, so I won't. I have no reason to be pulling apart paintings. Besides, I can't do it with my bare hands. It's attached to the wall. She looks... weirdly like me. Uncannily so. That's so cool. I should ask Dawn about her sometime. The canvas looks lumpy. Like there's something behind it. Hello? Floyd? Anyone? Hmm. No sign. Oh. Sounds like he's out back. I'll wait then. Just what I like to see. A well-stocked bar. Shame nobody's around to tend it. Oh, look. Someone's left a Bloody Mary lying around. I shouldn't. Should I? Well, it is just sitting here. Wait, there's a note beside it. Dear Alex, I thought you could use a drink. Steady your nerves. I'll be gone a while. Floyd. Well, that's thoughtful. No point waiting for Floyd in here, I guess. All the tables are laid with food. It still looks hot. Where are the diners? Hey. A small girl dressed in a ballet outfit. She looks very sad. A music box. It's playing a beautiful melancholy waltz. There's only one bag here. Is this girl traveling alone? Hey. How are you doing, kiddo? I'm... I'm fine, thank you. How are you, Mom? <laughs> Hey, call me Alex. I'm not old yet. <laughs> You're older than me. True. What are you, four? Five? I'm eight, actually. Oh, well, we're almost the same age then. You must be a big girl traveling alone this late at night. Yep. I'm going to see my daddy. Your daddy live in Nipawamzet? What a silly name. No, he doesn't live there. Well, okay. Is that where your daddy lives? Actually, I... Actually, I lost my father. Tonight. Is that why you look so sad? I... No, actually. He... He'd been suffering. It was better this way. I said my goodbyes already. Grown-ups are weird. Yeah. Don't I know it. Anyway, let's not talk about that. What do you want to talk about? Tell me about yourself. You travel alone a lot? Uh-uh. First time. I used to hate traveling alone. Hate it. I love it now. Weird, huh? Why did you hate it? Uh, it's nothing a kid needs to hear. Just lonely, angsty things. Are you not lonely anymore? No, I'm super lonely. I'm just at peace with that. Grown-ups? Weird. So, hey, uh, you read comics? Yeah. Well, a little. I do. I love comics. I used to want to draw comics. Me and my friend Kat were going to make one. Why didn't you? Life got in the way. You know how it is. Actually, you're a kid. You probably don't. Hey, I know a lot of things. I'm sure you do, kiddo. I used to do ballet, you know. Really? You don't look like a ballerina. Uh, well, thanks, I guess. I hate ballet. I keep trying and trying, but I don't get any better. You seem pretty good to me. No, I don't. I hate it. 
Why do you keep doing it then? My daddy wants me to. He says it's a good way to meet other girls my age. Oh man, that takes me back. That's exactly why my dad pushed me into it too. Didn't work though. The other girls didn't like me. I was either a better dancer than them, which made them jealous, or a worse dancer than them, which made them tease me. In the end, I got thrown out of class for smashing one of the huge mirrors. <laughs> Maybe I should do that. Don't go getting ideas, Missy. I'm a terrible role model. I like your necklace. Thanks. My boyfriend bought it for me. You have a boyfriend? Gross. Yeah, uh, actually, he's my ex-boyfriend. But there's nothing gross about it. But boys are totally gross. Yeah, I probably thought the same at your age. Trust me, you might change your mind, though. Sadly. What was your boyfriend's name? Gavin. Gavin Catrelli. He has a silly name. He's a silly man. What's your name, by the way? Lydia. Well, great to meet you, Lydia. Anyway, I should leave you to your practice. Okay. Come back and see me later. Maybe I should go see Dawn, ask if Lang's awake yet. Hey! Evening, miss. Any sign of our doctor friend? Well, I tried to wake him, but he was out cold. It seemed unkind to shake him awake. I could go get some cold water if that'd help. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm imagining it now. And trust me, it's tempting. Anyway, Don, I wanted to ask you a question. Well, ask away. But first, I have one on my own. Shoot. You called me by name just then. Why? Uh, isn't that what people do? I never told you my name, Missy. Pretty sure you did. Reckon I didn't. Anyway, it's no matter. Just something to think on, is all. Maybe a little bird told you. How strange. I'm sure you must have mentioned it. Anyway, I wanted to ask about that picture in the corridor. I noticed it as I went past. You mean the one of old Gloria? No, the other one. The portrait. The young woman? Oh, aye. Her. Yep. Who was she? I couldn't help but notice the similarities. To who? Me! Don't say you can't see it. Oh, aye, now you mention it, she does bear a striking resemblance to you. Then again, you all look the same to me after I've had a drop of whiskey. <laughs> Who was she? Don't rightly know. She came with Gloria. Maybe she's someone's daughter. Well, yeah, I imagine she was. Most women are a daughter at some point. Aye, you're a daughter, I imagine. Well, yeah. Grew up around your dad, did you? Uh, could we, like, not talk about my father right now? He kind of passed away very recently. Oh, I. Sorry, lass. I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, it's okay. I knew it was time. He was my stepfather, but I loved him like a dad. He loved me like a daughter, too. At least up until he stopped recognizing me. What about your mom? Are you in hostel close? Still? Well, I assumed... Uh, you assumed wrong. We were never close. I'm sure that's not true now, lassie. I'm sure everything she did had your best interests at heart. Hang on. Hang on. You don't know anything about her. Or me, for that matter. Look, I'm sorry. This conversation's creeping me out, okay? Oh, lassie. I... Uh... Ah, balls. There we go, into the tunnel. No idea why old Gloria craps out every damn time here. Settle down, we're in this for the long haul. What? Uh, how long till the lights come back on? Huge tunnel. Gonna be a good 15 minutes. I've got a candle here, but nothing to light it with. Here, use this lighter. Good work, lass. 
Must have given my matches to that funny fella in 2B. He likes to play with fire, so he does. Well, that sounds astonishingly unsafe. It's alright. I told him to be on his best behaviour. It's not every day we have guests. This is a passenger train. Is it? What? Where the hell did he go? Something's not right about him. Something's not right about this place. Fuck it. I'm going to knock on Lang's door. No response. It's locked. Fuck it. I should go see if Lydia's okay. Huh. It's locked. Uh, Lydia? You in there? Lydia? Shit. I need to get the door open somehow. Cards, money, mace, the usual. Nothing's br- Uh, Rob? Alex! Hello! You came! They said you would. You promised you'd call. You never called. Why didn't you call, Alex? Rob, it's the middle of the night. Wait, what the fuck? Did you follow me here? Why are you on the goddamn train? Oh, Alex, come on. I've always been there for you, haven't I? When Gavin left you, when your dad died, when you were getting those threatening phone calls. Oh, God. I forgot about that. Exactly. So why wouldn't I be here now when you need me again? You're... You're right. Okay, fuck it. Pretty sure I've passed out and I'm dreaming this, but whatever. I'll run with it. Why do I need you right now? The earth crawls, Alex. The sepulchre thunders towards its destination, like worms burrowing through the soil. From the skies, the predator swoops. Zap! Feast upon the eyes of God. Darkness. Silence. Then a sudden scream pierces the night. Rob... You're scaring me. I'm sorry. I'm getting caught up in the moment. I should go back to my compartment. Come and find me there when you're done with the girl. Lydia? I never told you about her. Slice the girl away, Alex. Look at her insides. Cut her belly. Find the key. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on here? This is some fucked up, trippy nightmare shit. There's something on the table. I might need this. Nah. Just what I like to see. Huh. I probably shouldn't go in there. Besides, it's almost certainly locked. I... Better not tamper with the machinery. I shouldn't dis- It's locked. They sound busy. I w- Hmm. There's something here. Weird. There's a key here. It says it's the key to 2A.
Hey. Hey, Alex. Hey, birthday girl. Where'd you get to? Uh, uh Sophia? Fuck. Jesus, Sophia, it is not my birthday. Why are you here? Hey, you invited us, silly. Already drunk, I see. I've only had one Bloody Mary. Gavin was looking for you. Oh, God, what? Gavin's here? Sure. Why wouldn't he be? Pretty sure I saw you with your hands down his pants earlier, so you know. I'm surprised you've forgotten. Oh, great, Carly too! Fuck this! Gavin is not here! You're not here! None of this is here! None of this is real! I'm on a fucking train, for God's sake! Whoa, Alex, chill. Have you taken something? Isaiah, don't worry about it. Alex is just being your weird hysterical self. Fuck off, Carly. You don't need to be rude to Alex on her birthday. She's being rude to us! She's just stressed, aren't you, babe? Yes! I'm stressed! I need to get to the bottom of this. A crowd of people. I can make out some of my friends. My trusty portable radio. Only now it's on a train when it should be in my apartment. My friends. I don't know why they're on this train. Oh, my head hurts. Sophia, can I talk to you for a second? Sure. What's up? Alone. I I can't leave, really. Carly's a bit drunk and you know how she gets. Fuck off. I heard that. We're all friends here, Alex. You can say anything. Okay, okay, look. Where are we? Your apartment, dickhead. Where else? No, we're on a train. Okay, fuck it. I'm asleep. Obviously. You need to suspend your disbelief, Al. This'll all go smoother if you just kick back and accept it. And hey, Gavin was around earlier. Why don't you go find him? Gavin and I broke up months ago. I don't want to see him. Alex, honey, what are you talking about? We broke up on... on my birthday. It's your birthday today. The big 25, or is it 26? 27. Definitely. Look at her. She's no spring chicken. 27 Club A, Alex? Gonna take a hit? Snort a line? Shoot up? Go out in a blaze of fucking glory? Throw it all away? Yo, Isaiah. You got any blow? Nah, not for you. Clean and sober. Remember? Well, as close as can be. Carly, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, you fucking know what, Alex. You think you're so much better than us? Always have. Just because you've gone through some shit? Just because you had, I don't know, struggles? That's enough, Carly. Carly, why the fuck are you even here? Why did you even come? You clearly don't want to see me. You know what, Alex? I came for Gavin. For fucking Gavin. And you know... Carly, shut the fuck up. Ignore her, Alex. She's drunk. No. You know what? The last time this played out, I never got to say my fucking piece. And I'm done. I'm fucking done taking people's shit this time. I'm on my way to see Kat. Remember her? The girl you fucking ostracized, Carly? And we're going to chill on a fucking island and find pottery and meet Louis fucking Cassell. And your shit heel douche canoe behavior won't bring me the fuck down on my birthday. Not again. Whoa, okay ladies, I'm gonna go head over here now. Well, come on then, Alex. Tell me how it is. Tell me how you really feel. It's been five years and you're still not over Gavin. That's fucked, Carly. Move on. Open your eyes. Jesus Christ. Alex, don't go down this road. Hey, fuck you, Alex. Alex, seriously, walk away. I'll talk to Carly, just come back later. Fuck you both. Hey, listen, I'll talk to Carly, I'll get her to leave. It's your party, and you don't deserve this. But could you do me a favor? Fine, sure, whatever. Put this somewhere safe. It keeps falling out of my purse. (laughs) 
Sophia's inhaler. She asked me to look after it. Why do I feel so fucking sick? Oh, my chest is so tight again. Ah. Huh? The music stopped. What the fuck? Where'd everybody go? A huge bag. Someone's luggage. It's a party hat. I remember Gavin made me wear one at the party. I was wearing it when... Ugh. A lantern. A fairly typical one, as far as lanterns go. A green balloon. It's just there. Only balloon in the room. Why does this seem so familiar? Fuck it. Why not? Sure. Why not? I have no need to carry a lantern around. I won't go rooting through someone's luggage without good reason. Nah. Huh? That sounds like my old ringtone. I think it's coming from the other carriage. Oh, someone answered that bloody phone. That's driving me to distraction over here. Sorry, sorry. I think the ringing's coming from in here. Ah, here we go. There's a phone stuck in the crack. This is my old cell phone. The one I got rid of a few weeks ago. And it's ringing. Withheld number. God, not again. Hello? Hello, little porcelain girl. Oh, fuck off. Not now. Don't you dare hang up. Don't you fucking dare. I can see you right now, you know. I doubt that. I'm on... A train. Cabin 1C. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. How are you here? I'm always watching you, little porcelain girl. Always. I can't miss a chance to see those titties, or maybe your I am going to find you, and I am going to cut your cock off and shove it down your throat, you disgusting excuse for a human being. I am going to make you watch in the mirror as you choke on your own dick, and then I'll slice your fucking throat if you ever, ever call me again. Ever. I will find out who you are, and you will die. Well, okay then. And here I was about to invite you over to my compartment. To party, you know, 1A. If you got the balls for it. Oh, this guy. This fucking guy. Oh, damnation. I'm sorry, lass. I should have knocked. No, no, it's fine. I'm just a bit jumpy. I, uh, held you through the door. Nuisance calls, is it? Yeah. Dude's been calling me for the past few months. Pretty sure my ex put him up to it. It's been happening since we broke up. Ah. Surely it wouldn't do a thing like that. Well, I don't know. It makes no sense. Gavin wasn't... isn't like that, I thought. And he denies it. But it's too much of a coincidence, right? I, Maybe. Could be anyone, though, really. Old Don believes in coincidence. Still, at least you're well away and safe on old Claudia, eh? No, he said he's here. He said he's on the fucking train. Well, that can't be. Unless your boy's a big English fellow with a stick up his ass. <laughs> no, no, it's not lying. Well then. <laughs> I mean, I suppose it could be Lydia. What did you just say? Oh, I was kidding. I don't really think my harasser is an eight-year-old girl. You've seen young Lydia tonight. Yeah. Why wasn't I meant to disturb her? Oh, uh, no, it's fine. I just, uh, I'll look out for her, you know. Where did you see her? 
in the next carriage, in her compartment. Oh. Well, right y'all then. I should just go and check on her. See if she needs anything. Wait. The guy told me to meet him in 1A. Well, there's no one in 1A. I think I'd have noticed. Well, bye. Jesus. Okay, Alex. Don't lose it at this juncture. Nothing unexpected is happening. You know what to do. Roll with it. See it through. It's okay. Maybe it's a little more intense than you were expecting. A little more real. But you can do this. It'll be worth it. Nothing comes for free. I guess I should head to 1A. No point putting it off. Rob? Hey, Alex. Remember the nuisance caller? You mean Gavin? It's not Gavin, Rob. We've been over this. You know what I mean. It is doing. It has to be. So you've said. Many times. He told me to come here. Oh, now he's trying to fuck with both of us. Great. I don't think you have anything to worry about, Rob. Alex, I've been so worried about you. Why? Just, you know, everything that's been going on with you. Gavin, your father, the stalker. I care about you a lot, Alex. I've told you about my daughter, right? Yeah. Yeah, you have. You remind me of her, you know? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, Rob. Missing. Disappeared. I never did find out who took her. If she's still alive. I know. I know. It must be terrible. My dad, my real dad, I mean, he walked out on my mom when I was six months old. She never found out what happened to him. Keith raised me like his own. He loved me like a daughter. I called him dad. But I always wondered, you know? And now Keith's gone too. <laughs> Look at us. We're a right pair, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I'm so worried, Alex. When I was in your apartment earlier and, and you were just lying there on the couch, it didn't look like you were breathing. I thought... I thought I'd lost you. No, I was... Wait. Wait, what? No! But it's making me say things I don't want to say. What? What is? The worm! The worm inside my head! Burrowing away inside my brain! Wriggling like a grub! Rob, stop it! Listen. Focus. Why were you in my apartment? I came in. I came in and I watched you sleep. No, stop! I watched you sleep. I just watched. I didn't do anything. I always just watch. I watch over you. I can't let them harm you. None of those filthy fucking men. Not Gavin, not Lang, not any of them. I know what they want from girls like you. You're my little porcelain doll, Alex. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, no. Oh, Rob, no. Why? Why? It wasn't me. It was Gavin. He's a no-good, dirty boy. He just wants to use you. Wants your body. You have to keep away from him, Alex. Keep away from all the dirty little boys. No. I've been watching over you all the time. And now the worm wants to eat my eyes. Stop me watching. They're trying to take my porcelain doll away from me, and I won't let them. Rob, are you the one who's been calling me? Is that what you're saying? If it hadn't been me, it would have been someone else. Someone actually intent on doing you harm. I've scared you away from those dirty boys, haven't I? I've kept you safe. I've shown you how vulnerable you are. That is all kinds of fucked up. All fucking kinds. I trusted you, Rob. I let you in. I had... Uh, I had no idea. Look, they're getting to you. They're trying to take you away from me. Who is? You're not making any fucking sense. Who's taking me away from you? The dead that sleep beneath the earth. The court of the charnel house king. 
The worms eat the flesh, the birds eat the worms, the augurs watch the birds, the cycle of carrion rots its way towards infinity. Now, stay here with me, where it's safe. Don't you fucking touch my daughter, you tainted Jezebel! Photos of me. Hundreds and hundreds of photos. Some of them are from inside of my apartment. How long has this been going on? I don't even want to look at these any longer. My neighbor, Rob. My stalker, Rob. You think you know someone. Rob, please let me pass. Please. We can forget this ever happened. I won't tell anyone. Tell anyone what? That tried to protect you. Why would anyone judge me for that? Rob, you need help. You need to talk to someone. I'll help you. I'm serious. No. I have to keep you safe. You're not going anywhere. No! I have no- What are you doing? Let me through, or I'll cut you. I swear to God. No, you won't. Don't fucking try me, Robert. You only call me Robert when you're upset. Well, yeah. I am fucking upset. I am upset at what you've done to me, at what you've made me endure. And why? To protect me? If you'd seen what I've seen, you'd know why, Alex. You'd know. Then tell me. Tell me what you've seen. No! I have to protect you! I could kill for a cigarette right now. Rob, I'm going to smoke, okay? I need to relax. Smoking will kill you, Alex. Jesus Christ, at least let me have this one thing. You can't protect me from everything. Okay, fine, fine! Do you want a toke? I don't smoke. It's surprisingly calming. You should try it. No, I don't. Ah! Ah! Oh my fucking eye! I'm, I'm blind! You fucking... Ah! Rob, I feel for you. I really do. But nobody harasses me and gets away with it. What were you doing in there, lass? My stalker, my my neighbor, Rob. He's in there. I I heard him. He might need medical attention. I can't go back in there. He was oh god. Now slow down, lassie. Tell old Don what's what. Rob. Robert Crow, he's my neighbor and one of my best friends. So I thought. He's the one who's been calling me. Encouraging me to think it was my ex, Gavin. He put the idea in my head. Oh, God, it's so obvious now I think about it. But but Rob's not a bad guy. He's not okay. He's not okay. He was trying to protect me. <sighs> now then. Sounds like he's in need of help. But that doesn't mean that you need to put up with this nonsense. Or let it hurt you. Yeah, I know. But I heard him. Can you at least go in and check on him? See if he needs first aid? I don't rightly think I can, lassie. Can I? And I think that you know why. He won't be in there if you go in, will he? Aye. You understand this place better than most of us did when we first got here. I... I think I do. This is the sepulchre, right? Aye. Oh, Gloria. <laughs> The engine of death. Only... Only... 
tonight we make our last stop. It's all thanks to you. You and Lang. I know, but I don't understand. Why us? The island wants you, lassie. You and the doctor. Us? We're just the staff. You two are the special ones. But you're setting us all free tonight. One way or another. Who is us? Me and, well, you'll see soon enough. You should go and check on your friends. I heard something of a ruckus down in carriage too. Oh, and Lassie. I'm sorry about all this. I probably... Locked. I can hear snoring. Lang sleeping through all of this. I envy him. I've been sitting... Hey, Isaiah. Hey, Al. How you doing? I'm... I'm surprisingly okay. Man, really? You and Gavin were really going at it. We... we were? Yeah. I've never seen a girl cuss out her boyfriend like that. Well, ex-boyfriend, I guess now. Oh. Oh, yeah, that was tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. That was tonight? Like... Half an hour ago? Yeah, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, time's... Time's a little fucked up for me right now. Don't worry about it. Alright. Sophia took Carly into the other room. Maybe you should... I don't know. Try and patch things up? If you want. Last time, I left it. I blamed them both. I was so sure. So sure. My friends would never talk to me about it. Or maybe I just wouldn't listen. I need to find out what really happened. Maybe tonight I can make things right. So, in your opinion... In my opinion? She was all over him. Gavin tried to get rid of her. She wasn't having any of it. You walked in? You walked in at the worst time, right? I don't know. All I'm saying is, from where I was standing, your boy didn't look like he was having a good time of it. I wondered that. I always did. But Gavin admitted it. He said he wanted to end it too, that he wanted to see other people. He never defended himself. You didn't really give him a chance to. You kicked him right out. Oh, I mean afterwards. In the weeks after. Wait, that hasn't happened here yet. Never mind. Girl, you're making my head spin with this. Anyway, my advice is, go talk to Carly. She's sobered up. She'll tell you Gavin did nothing wrong. Okay. In a bit. He's gone, right? Yeah, your boy bounced after you threw that cup at him. Real mood killer. Okay, don't make me feel worse about it. Hey, it was kind of funny, really. At least it was just a plastic cup. Last I saw, he was headed off. Maybe you should call him. Tomorrow. I will tomorrow. Have you seen Rob about? Don't know the dude. My neighbor. From across the hall? Oh, nah. He ain't been by that I've seen. Okay. Isaiah, you remember those nuisance phone calls? Huh? No, you ain't mentioned that to me. Oh, shit. Yeah. They start... In a few days. What? Nothing. Existential crisis. Don't worry about it. Man, that's the theme of the night, all right. Okay. Fuck it. I'm gonna go talk to Carly. Like I said, she's next door. With Sophia. Okay, cool. Have a good night, Isaiah. Peace. Apparently Carly and Sophia are in here. Hey, Alex, you need to talk Carly down. I am Judas. I am Judas. I am Judas. She's freaking out. She... Look, she threw herself at Gavin. There's no easy way to say it, okay? 
So Isaiah said. I am Judas. I am the betrayer. (sighs) Who in the blue fuck is that? What? Carly. No, that dude. Alex, don't dick around. Just talk to Carly. Please. I can't do this anymore. I am the sinner. I am the whore. Talk? Okay, fuck that. Carly, what the fuck happened? Alex, I have betrayed you. I am the sinner. Well, yeah, I fucking know that. I want to hear it in your words. I am Judas. I am the path to Calvary. I am the crucifixion. He promised me silver. That devil promised me silver. Where's my silver? Carly, tell me what the fuck you did. Was Gavin complicit? Silver. I want my silver. This is fucking useless. How am I meant to find any silver? Nah. Hey, you got any money on you? Yeah, there's some in my purse. You can grab it. Where's your purse? Just over there. See? On the seat opposite? Oh. Hey, can you understand me? I need that bag. Can I have it? Is this the weird guy Don said he gave his matches to? Hey, you like balloons? As you need. I guess not. Nah. Hey, how about a trade? This lighter for the bag? Three dollars and four cents. Hopefully this will do. It's money, anyway. Here, will this do? Silver. My silver. Gavin doesn't want me, Alex. He wanted you. He wanted you and it kills me. You were the noose around my neck, Alex. You. Gavin wanted you and you sent him into the cold. You sent him into the earth. What the hell do you mean, into the earth? Oh, you poor, sweet dear. You have no clue, do you? Not really, no. If only he could have explained. He wouldn't face me. I tried, Carly. God, I tried. I wanted to meet up, to try and talk it through, but he wouldn't. Just terse phone calls that turned into text messages that turned into nothing. Almost as if. Almost as if. We only want to protect you, Alex. All of us only want to protect you. Well, you're no fucking use, are you? (laughs) Alex! Hey, I missed you! I keep hearing weird noises on this train. And a man keeps looking in at me through the door. You mean Don, the conductor? No, a strange man. I've never seen him before. I don't like him. I want my daddy. My daddy's going to get me from the station. He said he got me a present. I hope it's a doll. I collect dolls. Oh, 
Oh, Lydia, sweetie. Uh, what's your daddy's name? My daddy is called Robert Crow. Oh, God. I thought so. <gasps> Do you know my daddy? Yeah. Yeah, I... Your daddy misses you very much, Lydia. Very, very much. This... This train journey you're on. Do you remember how it ends? I remember a man and a doll. It was cold. We got off the train early. He said he was my daddy's friend, and then... And then I'm back on the train and we're going to see daddy. I can take you to see your daddy right now if you want. Uh Uh-uh. That's what the man said too, but he had a doll from daddy to prove it. I shouldn't mess with it. I might upset her. I can take you to see your daddy right now if you want. Uh Uh-uh. I don't want Rob to get this back. I'll take it. Hey, Lydia, I have something for you. saw with daddy you really have met him yeah do you want to go see him yeah let me just hey who's that Lydia Lydia let's have a look it's it's full of dirt the dirt's moving it's full of worms oh god gross There's something in there, too, but there's no way I'm plunging my hand into that teeming mess. I'll just scoop some of this dirt away. Huh. It's my knife. I'll take that. Huh. Is that music coming from the bar? Is Floyd finally back? Cause I could sure use a fucking stiff drink right about now. Hey, hey Floyd? Ah yes, Miss Davenport. So nice to see you again. Please take a seat. I'd rather stand, but... but... Gavin. Hello, Alex. Oh, Gavin. Oh, God, Gavin. To see your face again. (laughs) How could you leave me like that? How could you do this to me? Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me what an ass I was being? Would that I could, sweetheart. What do you mean? It was uncharacteristic, wasn't it? I mean, we've had fights before, haven't we? Yeah. I just... You told me you were sick of it. Sick of me. You hurt me so fucking bad, Gavin. You reached into every single wound you know I have and poked the fuck around. All because I made a mistake? A mistake you could have so easily rectified? Let me pour you a drink, babe. Fine. Gin. Straight. must all be so confusing. I... I wasn't prepared for all this. I thought I'd led a simple life. I thought this would be easy. It's never easy. Everyone has secrets. Even that Lang fellow. You'd think he'd be the most boring guy in existence, but he had a lot of skeletons in his closet, let me tell you. Why are you here? Why are you on the train? How long have you been here? Since you came aboard. It's different for whoever rides old Gloria. There's always a Don, there's always a Floyd. But for you two, they were us. We're all connected in ways you were only just beginning to understand. This is bigger than us, Alex. 
We are all the children of Augur Peak, and we're all going home. You can thank Katarina when you see her. She's found something on that island, something that's changed the sepulchre forever. Anyway, you'll find out soon enough. Cat's story is a tale for another day. Yours hasn't ended yet. And what about Lang? I, I can't talk to you about Lang. Why not? Because I want to talk about me. Huh. How unusual. Hey, we're not fighting anymore, remember? Sorry. Sorry. I've just grown so used to hating you lately. Those times on the phone just after we broke up. You were so hurtful. So hateful. And it killed me too, Alex. The things we're forced to say with a gun to our heads. What do... Call me, Alex. It'll explain everything better than I could. What the hell? Okay. Rob? Gavin? Explain. You'll never guess who I bumped into as I left your party that night. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, Alex. It was meant to be. It was so perfect. There he was, weeping in the hall, and there I was, the good neighbor, your friend, with a shoulder to cry on and a pot of coffee on the stove, so we could give you some time without going too far, so we could wait it out, make his triumphant return after your friends had left. Everything would have gone back to the way it was. He would have continued defiling you. I could hear you both, you know, through the walls, hear the terrible things he did to you, how he forced you to moan in pleasure, to pretend to be enjoying it, how you were conditioned to be debased and defiled by these dirty fucking boys. That's fucked. That's so, so fucked. I am not some victim for you to save from consensual adult relationships. Robert, I'm not your daughter. I am not Lydia. What the fuck do you know about Lydia, Alex? Mm, tip for tat. Let's exchange stories. Yes. Yeah. She was coming to visit me. My dear, sweet Lydia. No! No, that's not how it happened at all. No! She wasn't there. We searched the train, frantically. Nobody could remember seeing her. Couldn't remember where she'd gotten off, if she'd even been on in the first place. No! Nothing. Nothing. Eventually they gave up searching. But I knew, I knew, Alex, that my baby was out there somewhere. Dead. Just waiting to be found. That I couldn't save her. But then I met you, and I saw how you needed saving. You remind me of the woman Lydia would have grown up to become. I'm not your fucking daughter, Robert. Now tell me about Gavin. Well, I couldn't have that... that dirty boy putting his hands all over my beautiful porcelain doll. I couldn't have it. I'm a pharmacist, you know. I know how to do things to people, to drug them, to knock them out, to paralyse them. A few cuts here and there, a few threats, and I know how to make them say what I want them to. You should have... Oh, you should have seen the look on his face as he made those phone calls to you, as I pressed the knife to his balls and whispered, Keep going. And you should see him now, four months and still alive. Had to remove his other leg last weekend. No good now. Not with the gangrene. Amazed you've never noticed the smell. It's incredible how compliant someone is when they know the person they love is just across the hall. Incredible how easy it is to keep someone alive while locked in a tiny, tiny room. And... And he wasn't dirty anymore. I cleaned him up. I did. Made him a porcelain doll. Just like you. A frozen porcelain doll. Kevin, This isn't true, is it? This is just one of the sepulchre's fucked up fantasies. It's true. I'm there. I'm alive. Of course, so is Robert. At least for the time being. 
It's probably about time a neighbor noticed the smell and called the cops. Would you like that, eh, Robert? No, I like you better with your tongue cut out, Gavin. Well, that explains why the phone calls stopped, Alex. Well, there's not much left to take. He's just a head on a torso now. Oh, it's beautiful, Alex. He is the perfect man. You are so, so fucked up. You are fucking fucked. I hope you fucking die and rot in hell, you piece of shit. What is going on in here, kids? That Langfellas trying to get some sleep. You're all screaming loud enough to wake the dead. Evening, Floyd. Evening, Donald. Oh, why? Let's see how it is. We need fair good time on this one, lassie. Floyd. A whiskey, if you'd be so kind. Coming right up, sir. Anyways, don't let old Don get in the middle of your dramatic revelation, kids. Don't mind me. I'm just taking the weight off my feet. Pretend like I'm not here. So now what? You have to end this. Lloyd. Donald? I don't reckon that's how it was meant to go. Do you? Can't say I do, no. This one. He's reaching through, isn't he? Looks that way. Oh, Logger's not going to be happy about this. I guess that's just the way it goes sometimes. Can't interfere. Cassell? No. Don't! Sorry. I don't want to be alone right now. You can't hear me anyway. I wasn't... I wasn't prepared. Not for this. I thought I'd see him. Keith. My father. Instead I found... this. I don't know what was real. Rob, Gavin, Carly, Lydia, and you, Dr. Harold Lang. I bet you thought you weren't going to make it here tonight, like I did. I don't think either of us made it here tonight. The train's stopping. I hope you wake up, Dr. Lang. I hope we both wake up. There's a fog rolling in. I can barely see the town. Well, that's gonna make today's work even more fun. Goddamn. Still, Harry and Alex should be here later today. I hope they had a safe journey. 